Well, today on Nation Window Cleaners Podcast, we're going to be talking all about how to automate your business, how to get some help in getting everything that needs to get done, done. So if you're in business or thinking about getting into business, make sure to stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? I am recording this in the holiday season, so hopefully you guys are all having a great season here, wrapping up 2023 in general. But today, I thought I would talk about automation, like things that you can do to help get a hand in your business. A lot of people don't really understand until they're in it how many pieces of the puzzle that you have to do as a business owner. There's everything from, you know, HR to marketing to, you know, every piece of your business you're doing. And as you get bigger, you just can't handle it all. And there's a lot of really amazing automations out there, things that just kind of happen without you having to do anything. It's like having an employee, but yet all the automations are happening automatically. And they're really pretty cheap to do also. So getting more done in your business, it allows you to kind of continue to grow and do everything else. And the biggest part is it doesn't make you burn out like, you know, people do. And I've hit burnout. I don't know if you've hit burnout before in your business or you're going through that season now, but it's really, really, really tough. It's like being stuck in a uh, uh, sand pit trying to climb your way out just very, very difficult. So with all that being said, you can get more done with automation. I know a lot of you maybe haven't thought about automation in your business because you thought, hey, it's a service business and I need to do X, Y, Z. And if I don't do it, it doesn't get done right and all this other stuff. And I'm here to tell you there's a lot of really amazing programs, a lot of things that you can kind of throw into automation. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. Um, And to start everything off, I have to start off with one of my favorite people in all the world, uh, his name's Kurt Kempton. He owns a company called Responsibit. And I always have a link, by the way, if you're watching this um, or listening, I believe it's on the podcast too. But if you're on YouTube, it's in the comments to try Responsibit. So always do this. I've known him for a very, very long time. I swear by the program. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, but there's a link in there if you want to try it. It's, I think it's like a discount. Anyway. Try it, Responsibit, either way. But with that being said, Responsibit's a program that is really where you can implement your bidding side of it. You know, people always say, um, I I can't bid over the phone. I love bidding over the phone. I hate doing in-person bids. It's a waste of time. It is a waste of your resources. It's a waste of your value to go and spend 30 minutes to an hour on every one of them just to get bids. And when you get big, you can't do that. Like. I mean, you're doing, you know, 20 bids a day at points. It's just absolutely not something you can continue to do once you get even larger. I just, you can close faster doing it automated or faster over the phone. I close more of them over the phone. I stop them from calling other people. There's so many benefits. Go back and watch episodes on that. But one of the awesome things that Responsibid does is the program is something you build into your website. It's got basically bidding functions and pictures of windows. So when somebody's on your uh, website, either during the day or at night, they can get an actual bid, an actual price right then and there. But the automation stuff happens behind the curtain. And one thing with Responsibit that I found absolutely phenomenal is that the, it tells you when people come in because it tracks everything as soon as somebody starts questioning it, they take their information and, and, and with all that, you have all that recorded. It tells you times. And I can't tell you how many thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars I've booked at like two, three in the morning. Like somebody's literally just waking up or can't sleep and they're thinking about it. Every other company that doesn't have that, they're not calling you at two in the morning, right? But they will go in and do that. Now, one thing that it does is it puts little pictures on the website so somebody go on your website and say, you want an instant bid right now, click this. It brings them to their, your custom form, basically. Your pricing's all there, all in the back. But it says pictures of windows. How many of these windows do you have? They just count up the windows. How many of these ones do you have? Count up your windows, right? And then everything is done. 
It knows your location because you put your address in. So some areas you may have a little bit of a surcharge. It knows your per window price. It gives them an absolute total for three packages for all the services you have and offer. It's phenomenal. Um, program's amazing. With that being said, the automation side of it is the part that is absolutely phenomenal. Now, there are people who out in the field, your techs can run it through this program to give people bids. Your people in the office can do that. You can do that. Everybody can do that. Not only is everything tracked with pricing, but it knows the email, it knows all that, and the automation part kicks in is when the follow-ups happen. So if somebody does not go with you right away, automation takes that and follows up. You get to decide when that follow-up happens, right? Do I want it in, you know, uh, an hour? And then the next one in a day and the next one in two days, do I want it in a week? Do I want it in one day, two days, and then six months? Like, when do I want my follow-ups? And it does all that. The most amazing thing about that is, is that your follow-ups are incredibly huge. Now you guys know in route, it makes a lot of sense. Route, it's super important. Um, 90 two to 95% of your closes from route sales is all from the follow-up, not from you just stopping in. It's getting the lead. It's the same thing in houses. Now, say you're phenomenally closing. You're at that 80 to 85% close rate. Your pricing is right. You're pretty much right there. That means that 15% of all your bids you're doing did not close. A lot of those aren't not closing because of something that you're not changing, right? There's sometimes just people who are like, yeah, you know, I got to like do think about, ah, but it's, you know, maybe it was a little more than I thought, but I got to, the follow-up basically means it's in your brain. Your brain takes it, puts it kind of in the back for a second. And if follow-up happens, it brings it right back to the front. Oh yeah, I didn't do anything with that. Yeah, let's do it. That accelerating of the idea back in the head is where follow-ups work. So stinking well. Sometimes people just need you to take their hand and lead them a little bit and say, hey, Let's do this. You talked about it. You got your price. Here's everything. Let's bring you through. And that's where the automation side really kicks in. The other automated part of this is that now everything is tracked. So I know when people are calling. I know where they're calling. I can put things in there. How'd you hear of us? I know all of that stuff with graphs and everything. And it's all exportable. I can um, pull up sheets. And I can do all of that stuff without doing any of it. I can put responsibility on my website, on a page, right? Everybody is, oh, don't talk about price. Yes, talk about price. There's, there's tire kickers. Get them out of there, right? Be done. Don't, don't talk yourself out of anything. Just they want a price, be done. You can put it on your website. It's the Amazon and eBay world. Everybody goes, no, people want to talk to me. No, they don't. Sometimes maybe they want to see who you are. But have you never bought anything from Amazon? You don't talk to anybody. You go on the thing, you look at it, you buy it, you're done. That's the world we live in. So you put that on there. People come in to get a quote. They either get a quote and can book right through that. All automated. You didn't do anything. Calendars all implemented into that. Integrated. Or they don't. They just got a price. But now the follow-up's there. You still got all their information. You can still call. All of that automation happens. That entire process happened without you doing anything. Anything except for paying like the bill for the program, really. Right? Automation like that is what we're talking about. It's that one piece of it does not mean it's 100% of everything. You could run all your stuff even over the phone like that if you really want. You can send them the link. Oh, great. Well, yeah, let's get you a price right away. Here's the link. Go ahead and fill it. Like you could do all of that stuff. But the automation side, it happens without you there. Without you doing anything or lifting a finger or using a brain cell, you're doing something else while people are booking services with you, getting prices, all of that. Absolutely phenomenal in the bid and the pricing side. <clears throat> now you got the job. You booked them. You did it. You texted great. Amazing. Hopefully you did the dentist close to get them coming back. Now they're, they're there. They're done. They're happy. Let's talk about reviews. A big thing that people don't think about is the review power. As long as where the reviews are doesn't get taken down. So you don't upset Google and they don't remove your listing, potentially you could have hundreds, if not thousands of reviews for your company that sit out there forever. Google loves reviews. They index them themselves. People give them to you. 
You're like, oh, yeah, I got like 20 reviews. I definitely need more, but people just don't do it. Of course they don't because you're not following up. You're not staying on top of that. You have other things to do. Well, enter in Nice Job. Nice Job is a company that we have um, been talking with. I've, I remember them from like shows at the huge convention like five plus years ago. And I didn't understand it. I was like, well, I don't know. A, I didn't understand the power of reviews, how strong a review itself is. People, I mean, if you have reviews, it's like as strong as a referral for somebody who doesn't even know you, right? But the amount of reviews that nice job can generate, let me talk to them, they'll give you a better lowdown. But here's what it is. When you do the job, you enter in the information that the job was done, again, create automation, APIs, connections, all that stuff. They now know, and they go ahead and contact them. Hey, we did a great job, fill out this thing. And then their follow-up happens. Okay, so you get 50% of people on that first one because it's written so well, it's easy, clickable to your Google review page. Now the next one goes off. Like They keep track of who's reviewed and who's not. The guys that are out there with the most reviews, when you see window cleaning companies like 20, 17, 31, 187 reviews, five star. You're like, how are they getting, this is how. They're using this, this program, basically, software, to do that. Automate the reviews. If a review sells you work, it is absolutely worth spending the dollars to get the reviews. And they stay there potentially forever. It could be the best marketing that you would do as far as something other than the SEO side, right? So getting reviews is absolutely phenomenal. And a program like that takes it out of your hands. It gets you more reviews. It gets them to come in automated, just automatically, basically. And it continues to get those people. So now your reviews, think about this. If you did, you know, a thousand customers last year, we'll say a hundred, a hundred customers last year, and you could somehow get 75% of them, 75 reviews a year. That's phenomenal. That's how these companies get it. So Nice Job is one of those companies that is awesome to deal with. They're really, I mean, they are surprisingly amazing at their job of what they do. I didn't get it until I started seeing it. All of a sudden it's like, and this was like when the, when the convention, we first saw them, um, not to get off topic, but we, as the convention, uh, the huge convention, because they were one of the sponsors, we ended up using them for the convention. I'm like, we'll see, you know, see if they're anything. We got hundreds of reviews in one like day, one weekend. It was phenomenal. And it was one of those like eye-opening things like, oh, this company is absolutely amazing. They, they've, they've got this dialed in. So you can use that for your own self, your own company. Something to think about. Something to really, really think about when it comes to reviews because they're so stinking important. People, they forget how important reviews are sometimes. And they just go, well, I don't know. There's nothing I can do. Like, I don't want to annoy people. And I, absolutely, they got that all dialed in. So anyway, not a, not a sales thing for them, but just a um, great company. Um, another piece to the automation that I really like, uh, it takes a bit of usage, figuring things out. But it's a program called Zapier. Now, Zapier is a automation connection or an API type program, which is like, uh, if, uh, if, if this, then that, if you know that app is the same thing, right? Connects program. So what Zapier does uh, and search it if you want, but it takes a program. Say you use QuickBooks. It can link QuickBooks to Google calendar or to, um, you know, your Facebook page or any of these things. It can take all of these things and it's thousands thousands of programs, thousands of softwares, it can connect them. So what happens is you have a trigger and then you have an action. So hypothetically, we'll say this. Um, say a new response of it comes in, right? You get an email from response of it saying, hey, we got a new one. You can just set up a quick zap that says anytime an email comes into your Gmail that has this title, take it and put it into a Google Sheet a line item. So that means that every time the email comes in, the information's pulled and now you have it in a spot that you can do, you have a call list, you do whatever. 
You can do that with the automation program. Now it does cost money obviously per month, but you can take different pieces. They're called zaps once you make one where it's like this, this happens, this happens because of that kind of connection. And you can go down the rabbit hole. It's amazing what you can do with this. I mean, everything from chat GPT to Facebook to um, lead generation to CRM, everything is in this. You can connect pieces. And for the most part, the main ones, Actions create triggers, and a lot of this stuff happens, and it all happens behind the scenes. So the little things that before you were like, ah, I don't have time to send out emails or put my email addresses that come in into my Constant Contact, MailChimp, all those programs, it's all integrated. So now what you can do is take, say, a response. Better say somebody fills out a form or whatever, and you get their email, and they say, yeah, well, I want the emails it can automatically drop that into your constant contact. It can segregate it, separate it, put it out there. It can do whatever you need it to do and it does it instantly and without you having to do anything. And this is a part of the puzzle that you can do different pieces that aren't in one program, right? So like the bidding process is responsive bid, right? Uh, reviews is nice job. But reviews or uh, reviews can't be done, or let me rephrase that. Bidding really can't be done through nice job and vice versa. So this takes different programs, connects the two programs using webhooks, APIs, that type of thing. But on the back end, in a really easy streamlined thing, you can connect these things. They even have um, uh, sample zaps that they've created that you can literally just use your own stuff. So phenomenal program to be able to link things and get things happening. Now, as you can see with this automation, just with these three programs, I'm now doing two people's worth of stuff and I'm doing it better because if I'm on the phone doing a bid, I can't worry about a review at that exact moment. So then it gets kind of pushed, right? With automation, this stuff happens regardless of what else is going on in the world. It could be raining out, all this stuff still happens. That's where the value comes in, right? And I gotta do a shameless plug. As you know, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do, it's how I make money. It costs you nothing extra to use me, but I want to be used by you. Take that for what it's worth. But I do wanna be a rep. Uh, all you need to do literally is either text me what items you want, or even if you're shopping, put it in your cart, just click save this cart. It's in the check checkout screen. Just save this cart and text me at 862-312-2026. And just say, yo, Jersey, my cart is good. All I do is verify, make sure the right address is. I can save cards on file. It's as simple as, I even have people who are like, hey, I need uh, 20 pounds of towels. Sweet, cool. Uh, awesome, I'll send it off to 123 Fake Street. Thanks, man. Done. Because I got everything else saved. I verified your address. I put it in. All of that. And it costs you nothing extra. I make credit for it. I get to continue to live on this earth because of it. And uh, it's an awesome high five from you. If you're letting me put your orders in, it literally is you going out of your way to help me. And that's amazing. So thank you for that a virtual high five of awesomeness. Plus, we have the Cool Kid sticker. And if you want to be a cool kid, which I know you do if you're not already, Tell me, remind me, I'll send you a sticker. We do a limited edition sticker only for people who order through me. Uh, so you have to place your order through me to get the sticker, but you have to let me know you want the stickers for me to put it in there. So uh, throw that in there. Um, also, speaking of cool kids, the American Window Cleaner Magazine. It is the only and best magazine for window cleaners in the professional world. It's articles and things to help your business and bits of information to help you be better even at your business. The structure of it, cleaning windows, new gear, pictures, posters, and of course, you get window cleaning stickers because why not? That is an absolutely awesome thing to kind of indulge in the window cleaning culture because you're in there now. We're all part of it and I'd love for you to be part of the magazine. So go to awcmag.com, get yourself a subscription. Incredibly inexpensive for a magazine to be delivered to your door every single month. Every single month, real magazine, not like PDF. You know, it's a real paper magazine, something for you to read on the toilet. 
Uh, but go ahead and do that. And uh, by the way, uh, a side note too, before I'm done with this uh, spiel here, uh, I have a YouTube channel myself. It's just Jersey underscore nation. It's like content, quick blasts, not long podcast stuff, just little videos, gear guides, reviews, all that stuff. Um, and it's a lot of fun. And I'm trying to increase my subscribers. So go there and just subscribe to my YouTube. It'd be phenomenal. Um, anyway, back to the automation side of things. Um, with automation itself, things get done, right? So let's look into the kind of CRM side, which I haven't done an episode on just the CRMs, which is like customer relationship manager, basically. But it's the program that you run everything through, right? So your invoices, your scheduling can go through there. Your bids can be added into that. Your um, notes, basically everything on a customer and how that can be done. And depending on which one you go with, there's certain programs out there that can, um, with literally you enter the information in as a customer and you can just drop them in the calendar. It knows where they are. It can optimize that. It can know drive time. It can know timing of how long the job is by the price. It can have notes in there for the text. There's so many pieces to that. And I'm not going to get into the different episodes or different uh, products now as far as softwares, but there are programs that you literally can add a customer, right? So say you've done Mrs. Jones for five years. Every year, she's increasing 4%, whatever that is, built in. Pricing, addresses, notes. Uh, her dog was there last time that she didn't want this window done. This window was broken. It was All those notes are there. You can literally, when Mrs. Jones does either your dentist close, which is even better, or say she calls you, hey, yeah, I haven't had it done, I need to get it done again. You can take her thing, drop it in the calendar, it's done. That entire process was all saved and done and it was instant. And we're talking about not a full automation because you still have to click and drag, but you click and drag, it does everything else. It does an hour's worth of work for you in a second because it's all saved and there and done and it's just there. This is automation. This is this is how you do more with the same amount of time or do even more and less, right? So a good CRM does a ton of different pieces to the puzzle, right? You can have a program that has all of that stuff in there. And again, this stuff costs money per month. I get that, right? Maybe you're scrounging up your pennies, right? But we know you're doing $85 an hour unless you're like some of these troll people on Facebook that are complaining they can't get any work, but yet they're at like a third of the price telling us that we're destroying the industry because they don't know any better. But we know what you're making, right? So the cost of this stuff is to help you grow. And if all of these programs end up costing you a few hundred dollars, but they add, you know, hours of time for you, you know you're not even making production time because you're doing all the selling and all the big stuff. So maybe your value to the company is $200 an hour, right? The amount of time it frees up to get more things done is more than gonna take place of an employee, but it frees you up. So understand a CRM does cost money, just like responsive, nice job, all this other stuff, but it automates these things and makes so much more stuff happen. The other part is that when you don't miss something, right? Like I said before, I'm too busy, I forget to do this, or I don't do this. It just, you lose the window and it's gone. This always happens. So having a good CRM, if you're still using anything where you're writing customers down on paper, or like, oh, what's your name again? Like I've tried, absolutely doing yourself a disservice. There is no professional company that runs that way, not at all. It's impossible to remember every detail you need to. People feel like you don't care because you don't remember, you don't take the time to remember. And it takes you a thousand times longer to try to reinvent the wheel every single time. With a good CRM, you could take all of that, create it into something that's simple, drop, remembers everything, searchable, absolutely phenomenal. And again, I'm off CRMs because we're not talking about specific ones, but do your research, there's demos on pretty much everything out there, by the way. Um, and the final thing that I, I want to talk about when it comes to automation is getting the customer in, right? The customers you already have are absolutely important, super valuable. Dentist clothes, 
I beat that up. But that is phenomenal. That is a business changing, life changing thing. You still have to have new customers coming in. Unless you're full and you're never gonna hire, you're never gonna grow, then you're full, cool. That's fine too. But if you are, you have to understand new customers. We go, well, how do I automate new customers? How, how do I get new customers automatically? And the answer is SEO. Now, we don't think about SEO as um, automation, really. But let me explain it. The, the quick 101 version of SEO is search engine optimization. It's when somebody searches window cleaning in my town, window cleaning near me, window cleaners, clean windows, all of that. Whenever they search that, because that's how everybody searches everything, the stuff that pulls up was indexed. And it was indexed because the search engines could find it. If you're not doing or paying for search engine optimization, your website's probably bringing in some stuff, but it's not phenomenal. I'll put my money on that. If you have anybody in your area that is doing SEO, they'll beat you a thousand percent of the time. Because there's so many websites and so much content out there, the crawlers have to optimize. They have to be able to get as much done and bring the most amount of value to people. Doing SEO or paying a company to do the SEO is like automating that side of it. It's always building your company up. It is always optimizing. The crawlers could be in the middle of the night. The crawlers could be once a month or once every six months or whatever. It's going to always be putting you at the top of the pillar to let them find everything and index you. It is an ongoing thing. I think that every company that exists, 100%, needs uh, SEO and they need to do it every single month for the entire life of their company. You cannot stop it. You do not want to stop it because all of that stuff that you're going towards, if you stop, oh, it's winter, my number, it ends, it closes, it, it, it stops all of that stuff. I talk to people all the time this time of year, like, ah, oh, I'm thinking about like, you know, because it's winter, like stopping my SEO, you know, just save some worst problem, worst thing you could ever do. Because if you stop your SEO, you drop way down, not just like you turn it back on, like, oh, I stay right here and then I go up. No, you, you fall back to obscurity. It's the websites that nobody can find. They're on the third page of Google, right? That's what happens when you're not SEOing. And then everything you did for the last nine months goes away. And it's like, why why would you save three months to, to kill a year's worth of, anyway, don't stop your SEO, I'm telling you, this is a huge mistake if you do. Anyway, but SEO optimizes that side of it. It's always building you up. Your website, a good website, good, S good SEO will always beat every other form of your advertising. Always. Paid advertising. Everybody goes, well, I get referrals. Yeah, of course. <laughs> referrals are not advertising. That's a referral, literally the word. Referrals are great. They're free. You get referrals. But SEO is how they find everything else. They find the website by searching any of these obscure terms. SEO is the most important thing you do for your company, but it's also not cheap. It's not 20 bucks, right? So you have to be to that point. The other thing is when you turn SEO on, it takes a little bit to work, but when it does start working, it is just always, always. You have to be able to handle the work coming in. You have to be able to handle the giant growth of your company. If you can, awesome, awesome. You have good SEO. You may not even end up doing any of this other stuff, right? You may be cherry picking it from that point. But SEO automates all of that. Uh, I always talk about Justin Monk. I still absolutely love Monk SEO, M-O-N-K SEO, phenomenal, awesome guys. Uh, I think actually Bobby from Monk SEO is going to be on the show pretty soon again. Uh, so smart and they've done work for me before uh, and blew me away. The stuff that they can do is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So uh, anyway, plug for them. Super great guys. Another company I've known for years before they even did SEO. All of a sudden now he started doing SEO like, he could correct me, but probably like 10 years ago, five years ago. I don't know, built a giant facility. It's amazing. He's got his window cleaning company still and that running in the same building. It's phenomenal. The SEO guys are not 
window cleaners who do that on the side. It, they have they have like their entire. I've seen the whole thing and it's phenomenal. These people they're just so active and they do the things you can't do, and that's where automation comes in. You can't possibly do the SEO that an SEO company can because you don't have the time to do that. But you have to pay the money and you have to be able to accept all of the new customers. I'm recording this in November. If you start SEO now, by the way, by the time spring hits, you could potentially, depending on areas and everything, whatever, be completely ranking like first page Google. Like for real in a real good SEO company, not the stupid, the people who call you and go, would you like to be on the first, but they're the crap and fake. 90% of companies probably are garbage. But if you did that now by springtime, when things get hot, you could be ranking. I mean, it's phenomenal the amount of people that do not do that. And I understand it costs money. So you got to be in the right position. And there's a lot of you too, who just don't want new work or like, Hey, I'm, I'm full. Like I'm done. Like I don't, I don't want more work. Sweet. Don't do SEO. You do SEO, you're going to be getting dozens of calls a day in the, the heat of the season, and you just can't take those on. That's totally understandable too. So anyway, Monk SEO is a great guy. I genuinely stand by everything he does, and I would put my name on it. But anyway, uh, do your own research on all those too. But that's automation. Automation as a whole is just things getting done without you having to do all of it, right? Automation could be as simple as I get 100% of the benefit, for putting in like 3% of the work. Automation is just like having another employee who would do just all this stuff. All these things, three things, we've only been talking for 25 minutes, you know, without my little shameless plug. In that time, I've given you enough programs where it's at least one or two new employees for you that you could create in the automation side of it and pay a fraction of the money. Automation's huge. Going into winter, we're always looking for things to better ourselves. Automation takes time to start, set up. Look into it. Look into doing those things. It could really, really help. And by the way, shameless plug, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And it is the way I make money by putting orders in. So um, I get uh, messages all the time about Patreon. Uh, thank you for wanting to help me through Patreon. But uh, I don't do Patreon. I just do orders. That's what I do. So uh, orders in the magazine. If you get a subscription to the magazine or you put an order in through me, and only through me, if you do it yourself, I'm not like your rep and get, only if I put it in. Um, that's how I make my money. So if you want to say thank you, like high five, let me do your order. Let me put it in. 862-312-2026 and get a subscription. I see everybody who comes in for the subscriptions on the magazines also. And it's absolutely phenomenal. So thank you. I hope I add value to your business or life. Um, I hope either that or you just like to hang out. And if so, then thank you. Thank you for that. Thanks for letting me do what I do. And uh, yeah, so either way, until next week there, go and automate everything you possibly can. Be more productive than you ever were before. But more important, go out there and be epic.